One of the many unique features of ZBrush is the fact that it is both a 2.5D and a 3D sculpting and painting package. Now as we move through tutorials this divide between 2.5D and 3D will become more clear and apparent to you. But I'd just like to show you a little bit of both right now. So again I'm in my start menu and I'm going to go ahead and click the escape button so I can move into a blank canvas here inside ZBrush. Now whether you're using a mouse or a pen tablet like I am, if you go ahead and click inside the canvas, you're going to start laying down pixels. Now you'll notice that this inherently looks somewhat 2D, as if we're drawing on a canvas in another program, maybe like Photoshop. But what's very unique about this is even though that we are painting these pixels onto the canvas, we are painting them with depth. You can see that there's a little bit of shadowing going on here. And if I hold down the Alt key, I can actually carve into this surface. So you can build this elevation up and then hold Alt to carve in. So I'm going to show you your first keyboard shortcut by holding down Control and then pressing the N key. And that'll go ahead and clear my canvas so then I can start painting a clean new canvas. So again, Control and N. And just like many digital programs, if you go ahead and press Control Z, that's your undo key. Okay, so this is 2.5D. Now as we move on, we'll talk more about 2.5D and more about 3D. I just don't want you to be confused between the two. So let's hit Control N and clear this. I'm now going to draw in a 3D object and hit this Edit button up here so I can make it live. You'll notice now that I can rotate this 3D object and if I make it a poly mesh I can sculpt on it. Now again don't worry about all the buttons I'm pushing now. I'm just clearly showing you an example between 2D or 2.5D I should say and 3D. So right now of course we're working in 3D. I can drop this model to canvas by hitting the edit button again and now it's been dropped which means I can't rotate it anymore but I can draw in other ones. Again now I'm in 2.5D. What's very unique about 2.5D is we're almost not limited by any of our poly count. I can draw in millions and billions of these and not ever get a slowdown in speed, which is very, very unique. I can even switch back to my simple standard brush and then do some additional sculpting or hold down the Alt key and carve in. So again, if you're new to ZBrush and you're familiar with other 3D packages, this concept of 2.5D versus 3D might be a little bit foreign to you, but it's a simple concept to understand, and as we move forward we'll understand it fully. So again, I'll hit Control-N to clear my canvas.